this $200 gimbal can actually balance the Sigma 16 f1.4. So if you are in the market for the right pocket size travel gimbal, you might want to hold off on that order of the Zion Crane M3. I don't need to tell you how perfect the Sigma 16 1.4 is as a lens all around for the Sony 6400. There is a catch. That baby is heavy. Once mounted, the entire package comes around 810 grams or 1.7 pounds. So do you need to sell a kidney and upgrade to the $400 Zayun Crane M3 to get silky smooth gimbal shot for our amazing kit? Thank God the answer is no. And this is why I love the Feiyuntech G6 Max. We can actually stabilize the Sigma 16 millimeters on the Sony 6400, as I will demonstrate to you right now. Let's balance on the gimbal the 16 millimeter 1.4 of Sigma, and we're gonna time it. Are you ready? Go. So I take my gimbal right here. So yeah, and what I like to do first is to lock it up in position, completely open. And that's a great thing about this gimbal as well, that it's now common sense for every modern gimbal for about two years, is that you have those locks, right? So it's great to, you know, just balance stuff. So I place the gimbal on the plate. For the moment, don't squeeze it too tight because you will need to shift around a little bit the camera. So don't squeeze it too tight. So the first thing you need to make sure is that this rotor here, this axis is balanced. So to do that, you have to unlock just this one and make sure as you put it like this, the gimbal like balances. So we're gonna unscrew this and slightly gently play around to make sure that the gimbal balances, right? So now in that sense, it balances. So I will screw it up a little bit and tighten it up. So now we have to make sure that on that it balances as well on that axis, which it doesn't. So I have to unscrew this a little bit and play around with my gimbal to the back, to the back, to the back. The camera put it to the back, still too heavy to the back. And that's one of the things you won't be able to completely balance it because the, the, heavy, the, the, gim the lens is so front heavy you won't be able to, even if you put it to the very far back. So put it to the very far back and that's it, right? So put it to the very far back and that's it. And make sure that this part is balanced, right? So we go back, this part is balanced. It's a heavy baby. So let's lock that up. Let's lock that part now. It's done. And that's why you will see why I love that, that gimbal so much. So now let's unscrew this section and see completely unbalanced as expected. So now we're gonna just find the balance here, right? So now let's try to see and find the balance right there. Okay, looks like it's not, not completely balanced. I'm gonna push it a little bit more. Yeah, it is um, kind of balanced. Yeah, kind of balanced. Good enough for me. I'm gonna lock it up right here. Now we lock it, okay. Two axes down, one to go. So we're gonna unlock right here. And you put the gimbal like this, horizontally. And we see it's completely unbalanced. So let me unscrew that part. And play around. So we have to move it front and back. You can see like this. We have to move it front and back. Like this, right? So I put it horizontally and I move it around. Up, so up until it balances. Yeah, good. So now I lock it down properly. Oops, sorry. And I screw it back in. Okay, and make sure it's screwed. Okay. Done. So normally we have a semblance of balancing. So I can turn, I can un so I can turn the gimbal on and unscrew and unlock all the axes and turn the gimbal on. Right? And what I really, really like to do on that gimbal is to as soon as I turned it on, go into the menu, 
and set up the motor automatically to adapt to this big baby. So it's adapting, it's shaking a little bit, it's done on purpose. Adapting, 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 adapting. Success and stop. So four minutes in and the gimbal is balanced. And as you can see, there is no shakes whatsoever. The gimbal is balanced. It takes care of business in four minutes flat. Here we go guys, so can you actually balance this 810 grams of pure magic? Yes, but if you had actually tried to use this kit on the long run, then you will know that you do need a little bit of biceps and muscle to actually operate it. And that'd be amazing if there was a lighter, smaller, cheaper, kind of fast, 16 millimeters out there and like a little bit underloved maybe and if you want to know more about that then stick around for the next video by subscribing to the channel and if you are from the future then the video should be someplace right there thank you so much for sticking around with me for this video guys you don't know how much i appreciate and if you had any value in that video a thumbs up will go a long way to promote this content to people just like us we need more advices around the sony a6400 in general until next time let's go out there and shoot